my pick and place isn't even a week old yet and I now have to open it up and do some modifications inside. So one of the things that could possibly be going wrong with my up camera is it could be out of focus. Well, it's definitely out of focus and it seems to be quite a, a common thing. It should be much sharper picture that I'm getting through the vision, which means it should be able to detect edges much better than what it's doing. So I need to get inside here and adjust the focus. Now the way you're supposed to do it is to take off this whole entire top section, which is a two man job. And it means that all my feeders are going to get affected. Someone worked out that if you take this front off, which pretty much has to be either ripped off with damage or I'm going to try to get my hairdryer on it with a chisel and see if I can get it off. It's quite thick plastic. Um, if I can get this off, then apparently I can get access to the inside here and get access to where the screws are. So there's one like locking screw and then when you, if you loosen that a little bit, there are two screws that you can adjust the focal height. So what I need to do also is to get the machine in a mode where the head over there is over here with a, um, with a suction on with at least a Pico D4 sitting on the bottom so I can have a look through the vision on the screen and as I move the camera around watch it go in and out of focus. It's very unscientific and I'm really not looking forward to doing this. I don't know what I'm going to be able to capture on video or not. Well, um, we'll see how we go. Well, it's proving quite hard to get off. It's, um, see the screws? I need to get to the screws. I don't know where all the screws are. And it's got that really disgusting tape, which I'm trying to melt to get it off cleanly, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So I might just have to rip it off and not have this front panel on at all. Uh, like if I knew where the screws were, I can't really feel through it to see where the screws are. Right? If I could, if I knew where they were, I could probably just do those areas. But yeah, see, look at that. It's going to leave some disgusting stuff. Oh well, I was hoping the heat would work, but no, at this point in time, I need a focused camera, not a pretty looking front. So. Oh, look at that. There's no way that's coming off. Cleanly, anyway. Like, I'd like to keep it in one piece so I can maybe put it on one day again or put something else. See, there's more screws. So, yeah, the whole thing's got to come off, unfortunately. Okay, back soon. Okay, I've got it off. That's as far as I'm willing to go at the moment. The surface is still sticky. I might even be able to get it back on again, although I doubt it. I don't want to cut it to get it off here yet. Potentially I could disconnect the button from the inside once it's open. So let's get it open and see what's inside. Oh, on the floor. Excellent. I'll be back soon. Okay, the panel's off. It's just sitting here. I didn't disconnect the uh, emergency stop button. So it's really hard to see inside, but that's it in there. And there's some screws in there, apparently, that I need to adjust to do the focus. There's the controller board. Nice and uh, messy cable management. 
going on in there, or should I say no cable management? And uh, yeah, apparently there are seven motor drivers on this board. So that's pretty crazy. And look at the heat sinks. There are two of them, you might be able to see. One there and one further back. Massive heat sinks. And the back one's got a fan on it too. They would be the, uh, the motor drivers. Cool, okay. I'm not gonna be able to capture the focusing on camera, it's just not gonna work. There's no way I can cram a camera in there in my hands. But I'll see you on the other side. Bye. Before I start, here's the head sitting over the camera. There's a Pico D4 on it. So the vacuum is running and you can see over here I've got live vision of what I see underneath. If I put my finger under the camera, you can see my finger go in. So I need to now focus this because it's a little bit out of focus. The more focus I can give it, the better the image detection will be. So, here we go. Okay, so I've got this as tight as I can possibly get it and as focused as I can get it. That's the best. I can't take the focus any more than that. That does look better than what I had before. The question is, will it be good enough? Well, that wasn't daunting at all. Okay, that's as much as I can do. I'm going to put it all back together again and see how much of an improvement I can get when building boards. Unfortunately, I'm actually out of one of the parts I need to build Tiny Picos right now, and I've got my components on the way, coming from the States via FedEx, and they will probably be here on Monday. So, it's going to be a weekend of not being able to build tiny picos it looks like. I think I've got enough parts left for one panel so I'll experiment today with putting that panel together and see if I get any improvement with the machine vision. There's also a software update coming from Charm High at some point soon hopefully in the next week or so that will have the ability to save the settings when I adjust the OpenCV threshold. It doesn't save that setting when I leave that screen which is a bit annoying so I've got a fix coming for that. I don't know when it's going to land though. So between that and the refocus, hopefully I'll get much better machine vision. I'll get much better placement. The next thing I'm going to do is build a custom panel for over here that's going to be laser cut that'll connect onto that base and I'll be able to put strips of other parts on there so I can do some shield assembly while I wait for my tiny pico parts. For those who caught my stream and I didn't answer what those boxes were, they are Softimage XSI boxes very very expensive boxes and actually full of manuals and software and dongles unfortunately when Autodesk bought Softimage they um, prevented people from selling their licenses so I wasn't able to on sell these to anyone else I got stuck with three licenses and if anyone knows anything about Softimage it was a very very expensive 3D animation package okay that's it thank you for watching don't forget to like, please subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have, click the alarm bell to be notified when I've got more Pick and Place videos coming out. Thanks to all my patrons, I say it all the time, you're awesome. And until next time, catch you later. Look at that, it's just like new. Except it'll probably peel off and fall off. Bye.